Hey, you might want to slow down, man. Another one. <sighs> What's wrong with you? You said that you wanted to talk, so let's talk about it. I don't know what to do. Is this about Allison? I just, I know that if I push too hard, it's... What? Lucas, I've told you about this before. Allison may never regain her memories. We have to accept that. What do you expect me to do? You want me to give up on Allison? Because I can't do that. No, I, I, that's not what I'm saying. All right, I'm a doctor, and I have to tell you the truth. Retrograde amnesia has no cure. Right? You can only hope for the best. But as your friend, I don't think that she has to remember you at all. She's fallen in love with you before. She can fall in love with you again. Allison, you might as well go back into work. It's gonna take about two hours to get a car. My boyfriend's coming to pick me up. Daisy, did you need a ride? Oh my gosh, yes, please. The queue for an Uber is two hours. Allison. You might as well go back into work. It's gonna take about two hours to get a car. <laughs> Mr. Aker! Get in. Me? Yes, you. No, not in the back. I'm not your driver. Get in the front. Thank you for the ride, Mr. Aker. <laughs> you are welcome. But, um, I think maybe you should call me Lucas from now on. I don't want people to get the wrong idea. What wrong idea could they possibly get? Like, I know we were putting on a show uh -huh. and everything. Right, right. But, we don't have to do it anymore. And I don't want our colleagues to get the wrong idea. Oh, um, okay, yeah, I, I know what you mean, but honestly, I wouldn't mind if they did. <laughs> Mr. Anger drinks coffee every morning. Why would you bring him tea? Jessica, you are in the marketing department. I don't need you to make me coffee, just do your job. Oh, it's no problem. Allison went out to get the office delivery, so I figured I would just help her out. <laughs> Mr. Anger drinks coffee every morning. Why would you bring him tea? Oh, he said he didn't sleep well last night, so I thought herbal tea would help with relaxation. This is perfect. Thank you. Hey, Jessica, if you could leave and give Allison and I a couple minutes, I have some things I need to discuss. Allison, we are holding a press conference this Friday. Do you think you could help me get the speech draft ready by then? Yeah, of course. Hey, Allison, could you help me with my shirt? I think there's something poking me, but I can't see it. Oh, yeah, sure. Do you see it? Oh, yeah, it's the tag. Is that better? Much better. Thanks, Allison. Sorry, I'm late. I was helping Daisy with something. You're fine. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here today. It's great to see both new and familiar faces together. This is your draft? No. This isn't the one I prepared. Allison, how could you give Mr. Egger a blank draft? The most exciting thing about this merger between the two great companies that we have in this room. What's going on? He's not seeing anything from the draft. You did good though. This is your draft? 
Oh my god, no. This isn't the one I prepared. Allison, how could you give Mr. Egger a blank draft? Are you deliberately trying to embarrass our boss in public? We cannot let her get away with this. What do you suggest? Fire her. I would never do that. Mm. Jessica, how did you know the draft was blank? What? I never said anything about it being blank. Allison didn't say anything about the draft being blank. You've never seen the draft. How did you know it was blank? I guessed. I was... I was guessing. <laughs> Thank you. Four? Such a great suggestion. <laughs> You're fired. Jessica, you. You think you are so much better than me? And the truth is, everyone in this office knows how much of a dirty little skank you are. Are you happy now? That was a low one, even for you. You think you are so much better than me? And the truth is, everyone in this office knows how much of a dirty little skank you are. What the hell are you talking about, Jessica? You're sleeping with Mr. Egger. Everybody knows it. It's the reason he's picking favorites. I don't even know why I want to work for a company like this. Well, then just leave. Nobody's asking you to stay. Where's Allison? Did she come to work today? Yes, she did. Is everybody out? I'm counting right now. I think everyone's out. Where's Allison? Did she come to work today? Yes, she did. Let's just give it a second. Fuck this, I'm going in. Give me this. Mr. Ager? No, no. What are you doing? Okay. What? Come back here! Wait for the fire department! Came up 15 floors, I could go down 15 floors. Hey, listen, listen. We don't have much time, okay? Hurry, come on. Did you come up here just for me? Do you see anyone else on my back? Don't you understand? Understand what? You're gonna be so dense. Let me see, let me see. Oh, um, it's swollen already. We gotta get you to the hospital. No, it's okay. It, it'll be fine in a few days. Damn it, Allison. Let me at least take you home. Yeah? Okay. 
careful, careful. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Egger, you don't have to do this for me. I'm just your assistant. Why are you still calling me Mr. Egger? I told you. Call me Lucas. Don't you understand? Understand what? You're gonna be so dense. You know that? Strange. What's strange? I'm getting like deja vu. 